Hello, and welcome to the first video in our tutorial video series of the know it -All Ninja teacher interface. In this video, we'll look at the initial interface you'll see when you log into the know it -All Ninja website as a teacher with a school membership. Here, you can see that we have at the top of our screen a drop down selection box. This will allow us to switch between the different memberships that we have purchased to access with Know or Ninja. As you can see here, I have two memberships, one for the BTEC Tech Award DIT and the other one for the OCR GCSE Computer Science. We'll stick with the Tech Award DIT membership for now. Across the top bar, we'll also see there is an option to purchase additional seats to the membership. Currently, this membership has 100 seats. That means we can register 100 students to this membership. If we find later we need additional seats, this can be purchased up here. You will only be charged on a prorated basis. So if you've only got half a year, then it will be half the price than if you purchase the seats brand new. There is also the option to renew a membership. This becomes available within the last 100 days of your membership. Now, beneath this initial selection of the membership, we have the classes within that membership. So just to demonstrate this, if we click at the top here, we have the OCI GCSC Computer Science. If I select that, it will load classes within this membership. And as you can see, we currently do not have any classes on this membership. Switch back to the BTEC Tech Award DIT 2024. And here we go. We have our one class that we have currently associated with this membership. The other aspects of this interface that you'll notice is we have the number of courses that are available on this. So this would be the number of e-learning courses. So if BTEC DEIT, this is all three components. We also have the expiry date of the membership, an add class button, and of course the view button for us to view this class and administer the group. Other aspects of the interface you'll notice is that there is a help button at the bottom here, which will allow you both to contact support as well as to look through our help documentation. At the top, we have our links to go back to this dashboard to uh, navigate through our various courses and to look at the membership pricing if you are looking to purchase an additional membership. We also have our profile button up here to view our user profile. And then the left hand side, we have our various dashboard uh, interface options, such as to go to the class manager, the to view the courses that we're enrolled on. This will take us to the initially to the most recent course we were active on, but we'll be able to switch between other courses from within there. Achievements that we have achieved because teachers will have access to the e-learning courses as well And so we'll be able to continue through the content and the ability to view the student leaderboard Because students as they complete through the courses will gain experience points and will be able to compete on a weekly and all-time leaderboard against their classmates If you want you can deactivate the leaderboard which we'll look at later and lastly we have the resource shop where you can purchase additional in-class resources that you may wish to support your in-class teaching. So the only other aspect here we haven't covered is actually creating the classes. So you can see we have one class here. If we wanted to create an additional class, we can press this add class button. We can create a new class, or if there's a class on a different membership, such as an old membership that uh, um, we want to move a class across from, then we can select existing class and our existing classes from other memberships will list. We don't have any new classes and memberships because we saw the computer science didn't have one. And then we can easily select the class and transfer it across. But we can just create a new class here of class Y1B, create class. And it will take us into the interface. We'll move out of this for now. We have class Y1B, which will be uh, assigned a, a random color. And we can also drag and position it how we want, and uh, it will remember that in future. So if we refresh, it will be in the, in the correct order. And there we go. So that is the uh, initial interface in the class manager. 
we'll continue this in our next video where we'll look at how we will add our students and how we can manage those students. Thank you very much.